Welcome to Blessed Mess, and uh, tonight's uh, video in our little video channel is going to be about Goodwill finds um, that you about hats. So we got hats on hats on hats, and different things to look for. You can see the little novelty cap that I've got on. Um, most of these caps were like two dollars at the most. I mean, some of them might be a dollar a piece. Just depends on where I got what Goodwill I got them at. So this one was like two bucks. It's uh, never been worn until I just put it on. Um, you can tell it's got really good, um, there's no wear or anything on the inside. You see that foam? You know it's relatively old. It's got that, that little rope that's up at the front. Um, this is not made in China. So, you know, this is a, this is a $25 cap. Um, just be on the lookout for novelty type caps like this, whether they're vintage or they're relatively new. Try to pick them up. They, they sell really easily and you can look them up really easy. Another thing that I look for are skate or surfing hats. Um, Tony Hawk. You can find these. These are Most of these are going to be like youth size. So I just put youth in the title. So Tony Hawk. Vans, and what I'll do is I'll block these out. Like some of these are still have the tags on them. Some of these I'll block them out and make them look really nice and kind of stuff them and kind of I'll steam them up and get them to look really good. But make you want to make sure that these guys are flat build. Uh, Wave Colt is another one that's a that's a uh, surfer type brand, but these are all going to be youth style. These are, this is. Wave Colt is O'Neill. Another one that fits that same description is this New Zealand. It's a kind of a skater mesh hat. Some people call them trucker hats. I don't call them trucker, I call them mesh. You can tell this is a, a relatively old cap because the mesh feels, uh, it, it is, it's relatively hard. And um, the inside is that foam. Um, really cool hat. I don't know if I've listed this, so I've got to check and see if I've listed it. I believe I have. $25 hat all day long. Another thing that you can look for are sports related items. I've already sold one of these. I picked up two of these Wimbledon women's tennis caps and uh, they're from Wimbledon. So they're, either they got them on the website or something, but, um, but yeah, it says Wimbledon on the inside. I mean, it's not like a Nike or anything, but that's the brand. I've already sold one of these, picked it up for two bucks, and I think I sold it for 15, 18 bucks. I think it was $18. Another really good thing to find, now I'm in Kentucky, and so one of the things that you can look for is, especially out of is Kentucky Derby caps. This one still has a hologram sticker on it. Um, I've sold several of these. Um, this is the 142nd running of the Kentucky Derby. Um, it's a pre-bent cap, so it's never been worn. Um, these sell really good. I think I had one that was for, I can't remember what year it was, but it, it, it had the tags and everything, and it went for like 35 bucks. Um, sports related, oh, horse racing related, I guess I should say. The Maker's Mark Mile is another race that we have here in Kentucky. Maker's Mark is a bourbon. You can see this one, this one is still has the tags on it. It's never been worn. It's uh, made in the Dominican Republic. It's from 2001. It's the Maker's Mark Mile also. Same thing with this one. This one's just more of a like felt cap. And uh, made in the Philippines. So horse racing's big. So I uh, sell some NASCAR stuff. Um, Jeff Gordon, uh, I picked up uh, about six or seven items for Jeff Gordon, a cop, you know, coffee cup, uh, uh, ball caps, and all that. Um, and this one has Hendrick Motorsports on it. It's never been worn. It's in great shape. It's pre-bent. So, um, yeah, DuPont Motorsports, but that's a, that's one for him. Um, I don't see if I've got any more. Uh, this cap's kind of beat up a little bit, but it's Alabama. 
still got the tags on it. Um, the original price on this was uh, 26 bucks. Seed hats. I'll steam and block this out. I'm a Tennessee fan, so uh, I don't I don't know if I've listed this or not. <laughs> Same thing with this Alabama hat. I'm not really listing them, but uh, no, uh, these are uh, high quality hats, never been worn. Um, this still has the tags and everything on it. And this has kind of got a cool thing. It's got Tuscaloosa, you know, on the bill. It's pretty nice. It's a flat bill. Um, another thing to look for are this Mitchell and Ness brand. Um, this is Golden State Warriors. I, kind of, I didn't list this this year because they kind of did terrible. So I didn't list it. I need to list it now the NBA season's back up and running. Uh, it's still, it has the... It has the original little stickers on it. People like that. Um, and so Golden State Warriors. Mitchell and Nest. Look, Ness. Look for that. Uh, uh, Notre Dame Irish stuff always sells really good. This is a, a one size fit. Well, I guess it's medium large hat, but it's a, it's got a, this is a New Era hat. New Era is a really good brand. Uh, it's a really sharp looking cap. So I always try to pick up Irish stuff because it sells really well. Um, now all my other stuff that I have up here are kind of, uh, well, they're not sports. So Justin Boot Company, this is an old hat. You see on the inside, it's got that sweat band. Um, uh, made in Korea. I will steam this and block it out and make it look nice before I sell it or before I list it. I have not listed this. I've got a couple of Justin Boot ones and they're old, um, but this is something to look for. You see the roping and that. Um, and so I haven't listed this because I just need to, you know, kind of block it out and make it look nice. Uh, these are two caps that I just found the other day. They're worth about 15 to 18 bucks. It says Florida. Uh, the Department of Corrections for Florida. This one is a, uh, uh, it's a polyester cap, but it's in cloth. It's got the roping on the front, probably from the 90s. It's got that little weird thing to keep the top of it up, the, looking good. And here's a Department of Corrections, probably a little bit, probably about the same, time frame maybe a little bit older just given the logos are a little bit different this logo the patch looks a lot different than the other one so it's probably a little bit older probably from late 80s mid 80s it's got that foam on the inside it's got that little small banding rope these go the trucker hats are a little bit more expensive so they probably go for 19 to 20 bucks a piece and uh People just like to wear crazy stuff. So look for weird stuff like, did not expect to see this at the Goodwill like two days ago, but I picked it up. Um, blank caps, especially like really vintage ones. This is a vintage ball cap. This is probably from the early 80s, probably 80 to 83. I remember this style of ball cap where you'd have like Pittsburgh Steelers logo on it or whatever. I remember those whenever I was a kid. So this is probably from the early 80s. Um, I think I need to list this. <laughs> but um, this is a really cool ball cap because it could be something somebody could customize. They could put their own logo on it or whatever. Along with that, that these other kind of mesh Caps. You can tell I like mesh caps, but this is a Napa Auto Parts. Uh, these sell really well. I just have not listed this. This is my box of, I have not listed these caps. Uh, maybe I have a couple of them, but not very many. This one I, I know I've listed. This is a UT Lifestar. It's a helicopter service that like, it, it's like an ambulance service. Um, this is old. Um, you can, it's been worn. It's kind of worn out, but, uh, I think it's a cool cat just because it's got the helicopter on it. It's got a UT Lifestar on it. I think that's kind of cool. Um, nine bucks or something. I think I've got that one listed for nine dollars. Um, 
red Manchain tobacco. Uh, I had a red and white, a red bill with a white top. I think it sold for $60, is that right? Sold for $60. I bought this at the same time. This is not sold yet. I think I just need to promote it on eBay and it will sell. Um, but this is just a cool, I mean, super redneck cap. So people like that kind of stuff. I mean, weird sells. So if you see something that's kind of unusual like this, I knew, I didn't even have to look it up. I was like, that thing is going to be worth a lot of money. So I got that. And that Woodland camo and the red man hat. It's awesome. Okay. Um, this is a specialty ball cap, or cap and the 330 um, bomb group, that's a World War II, I think that's a B-29, if I remember right, but uh, the 330 bomb group is a World War II uh, bomb group, and in Colorado Springs, they had a reunion of sorts 50 years after the bomb group got started or maybe deactivated, I can't remember if it started or deactivated, but I'm pretty sure it was when it got started in 1943 and then by 1993, it got deactivated. I was in the Air Force at the time, and I remember these bomb groups, bomber groups and fighter groups that were 50 years later doing a lot of these reunions. So I saw this in a Goodwill more than a year ago, and I just had to have it. I just thought it was super cool. I wanted, I, I wanted just to keep it, but I think I'm going to just pass it on to somebody that's interested in World War II memorabilia. I need to put World War II on it, and maybe that will uh, get it sold. Um, I cannot remember what I have it listed for. I probably listed it for a crazy price because um, I like it so much. The other thing to look for is uh, any kind of Stetson hat and... Uh, you see inside there where it says Gun Club? You see Gun Club Stetson? So these, here's another Stetson hat. You see that? And you see that Stetson logo in there? This is not a Gun Club. This is a 3X Beaver qual uh, quality um, hat. This one's pretty old. Um, came from a specific men's store, so um, yeah, these are these are kind of small. I mean, I've got a big head, so these are kind of these are all sevens. They obviously, came from the same people. I think I already showed you the Gun Club here. Here's another Stetson hat. Another size seven. All came from the same guy. It has a Stetson pin on it. You may see the Stetson pin. When I walked across and saw that, I saw that Stetson pin. I was like, oh yeah, these are all Stetsons in this thing. I want to say I had way more than these three left. I mean, I don't know where the rest of them went, and maybe we sold them already. But um, I think I have about eight or nine of these guys hanging out somewhere and uh, I have not listed them uh, some of them are you know they're just old they look awesome even for just display they look really great so hats what I look for in hats I look for I like mesh hats I think they're a little bit more stylish I just like them you can wear them in the summer but I like mesh hats I like novelty, um, unusual uh, foam fronts. Um, so if you see something that's kind of unusual, pick it up. And if you can search really quick while you're in the store and look something up, go for it. If it's like, if you see Stetson on anything, I don't care the condition. These, th these hats are in great condition. I mean, they're in fabulous condition. They're just a little too small for me. If it was a seven and three eighths, they would be my size. Um, if you can find Stetsons, if you can find any kind of um, teams that are really hot right now in college football, like Alabama or Notre Dame or Clemson, Georgia, um, 
if I'm leaving off your team, I'm sorry. Oklahoma. Um, I pick up lots of Oklahoma stuff because I have family in Oklahoma. Um, if you can find, you know, teams that have been around a long, a very long time, pick those up. I try to get stuff that is, you can't tell if it's been worn. I mean, it doesn't look like it's been out in the hot sun. I mean, I try to find stuff that's as pristine as possible. Now, when you're talking about a 60 year old hat, it's not going to be pristine. Some some gentleman wore this every day to work, or he, he put it on for Sundays, you know, for uh, for church. So um, some are not going to be perfect, but hats are really good to look for. Honey, can you hear me that knit cap that's next to you? Just throw it over here. Another thing that I look for are youth sized hat um, stocking caps. This is kind of a youth sized hat. This is old. I mean, this has to be from the early 80s, I would say. It has no label in it. Um, the inside, you know, you tell some, the yarn goes through that's on the top. So um, there's no label at all. Um, it's, a, it's a funky little hat. It's got that cool little Grecian key or whatever you call it, little outline. I love that multiple colored youth hats that are vintage like i've sold dallas cowboys i've sold baltimore colts i've sold youth stocking caps they sell really good and these cost next to nothing to ship um, i picked this up for a dollar 49 and um, i'll easily be able to get 20 bucks out of it it's just a really cool hat i'll clean it up a little bit but it's awesome to have that. Um, thank you for watching my videos. This is my third video. So um, I'm going to continue making some more videos for you guys. So you can, uh, on different subjects, especially with Goodwill. And uh, I appreciate every, everybody watching my videos. And uh, God bless. Follow God's example, therefore as dearly loved of children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Philippians 1.9 says, And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and what may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you've given us. Thank you for this opportunity for us to be together at this time and that we can pray to you and we're free to do so in our country. Lord, we pray for our leadership in this country. We pray for everyone at the federal, state, and local level that can uh, that they can have discernment to know what to do that is right and just. We pray for our family members, our friends, and community members that they can be safe, happy, and healthy. And we know that on, the only way to find true happiness and joy is through Jesus Christ. Lord, we love you, and we bless you, and we worship you. In Jesus Christ I pray, amen.